everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I'm at. I sit in my infrared sauna and I turn on my different colors of light therapy, which I don't know why the dadgum lights are flickering, but hopefully it won't be that annoying in the video. And I sweat and I detox and I hopefully burn some calories and I talk about spiritual topics that I need to hear so that I can really process them and bring them into my energy field and really remember how the energy in this heavy third dimension works so that I can manifest everything my heart desires and really live a positive life. And hopefully the end result is that I make a difference on the planet and then anybody that hears or watches these videos can also raise their vibration and do the same. Whoo, bye bye. Right? Okay, so today I want to talk about something that really hit me strongly in the last couple of days. I went away to New York City for four days and I haven't been there in years. And I lived there for a decade pre 9 11. So it's a city that I grew up in as a very young adult and left you know, prior to my 30s, so left in my late 20s. And it's a really a place that has my heart in many ways and brought back so much emotion and so many memories of my youth and young adulthood. And um, I went there with my daughter, which was even more emotional. So the city itself is hugely intense. And so being um, a, a an empath, it was a lot of energy and I felt completely... <laughs> Um, discombobulated when I got back but on the plane back and I'll talk about being discombobulated from travel in another vlog but on the plane back I watched several movies and one of the movies I watched was really impactful to me so surprisingly I thought it was just gonna be like this comedy whatever and it really hit me to my core and so I thought I'd talk about it today it was I feel pretty with Amy Schumer, who has sort of cracked the mold of what is attractive in women and the insecurities that women go through and all sorts of topics that are very relevant, very relevant, relevant in today's society with all the ridiculousness of body enhancing that people are doing and, and craziness and um, celebrity and all this ego driven mania. Okay. So I watched this movie and it was about this woman who was very insecure, somewhat overweight, felt completely unattractive and unworthy and, um, was pretty miserable, you know, with her life and where she was in her life, primarily based on her perception of how she looked, right? All she wanted was to be beautiful and have people see her as beautiful, right? And she hit her head as she was, right before hitting her head, she was wishing that that would happen, that her dreams would come true and that she would be beautiful. And when she woke up, even though she looked the same to other people, to herself in the mirror, she looked like her dream girl, like what she always dreamt that her beautiful, most beautiful self would look like. And so even though her outward appearance didn't change, she thought it did, but to others, she looked exactly the same. Her attitude changed. And this is the topic today. Her confidence level changed. And that was what was such a huge difference because even though she looked the same, because her confidence level changed, everybody saw her differently right? She was still heavy. She was still not all that, you know, I mean, you know, she's, a, she's cute and all. She's got blonde hair, baby. And, but, you know, it's like nothing changed in terms of her looks and she thought she was not attractive. But when she bumped her head and all of a, because uh, all of a sudden became attractive, her confidence level exuded that attractiveness to everyone. And her vibration became one of attraction because she 
was confident and people are attracted to confidence and positivity. And so it was so telling to me because Lately, I've felt, well, 2018, as we all know, was a pain in the behind year to get through and a lot of trials and tribulations and whatever. And 2019 has started off, I'm trying to be very optimistic about it, but you know, it's life. Life is life. So I just have felt not my optimal self. I haven't felt totally in shape like I used to be and blah, 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 maybe my finances and all these things that can make you feel not confident or insecure. And I realized all I have to do is change that and know that I'm a badass and know that I'm attractive and know that I am abundantly wealthy in so many ways and I am so talented and I have so many opportunities and I need to go out into the world and feel that and I will attract that same energy of abundance and confidence and worldliness and excitement and fun 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 things okay right on and it just see the movie because maybe if you're having trouble with confidence you'll realize it's all inside of you baby all it takes is the switch flip of the switch in your mind to know your badassness and to exude that to the world and then attract much more positive abundant abundance in your life right so that's what I'm going to meditate on now. It's 133, no, 132 degrees and I got 30 more minutes. I'll probably pop it up a few because I'm just starting to sweat. But thank you so much for tuning in and please subscribe. I really, I'm, I'm doing this for myself, but I'm also doing it for everyone else. I really want to be here for people. I would love to give readings for people. I'll do free readings if you subscribe and I want to be of service. So please subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I'm sending blessings to everybody and confidence and love and all good things to everybody. So, oh, <laughs>